Welcome to this overview of the Seeker 400 Digital Video Camera Scope. This video will walk you through the system's major components and functions. The Seeker system has three main components. First is the pistol grip handle, which controls the on-off functioning of the probe, as well as the LED brightness. Attached to the handle is the one meter long probe, which contains the camera and LED lights in the leading end. Finally, there's the removable and wireless LCD monitor, which controls all of the scopes functioning and recording. The LCD monitor can be attached to the handle or removed and used wirelessly. To turn the monitor on, simply press the on-off button on the top of the monitor. The pistol grip handle has a yellow thumb wheel for on-off control of the camera and to adjust the brightness of the white LED lights at the end of the camera head. Both the LCD display and the pistol grip handle have internal lithium-ion rechargeable batteries which can be charged separately or in tandem. To charge the handle, insert one of the split cable plugs from the charger interface cable into the jack on the right side of the handle. There are two colored LED indicator lights just above the thumb wheel, a green one that glows when the unit is fully charged and a red one that indicates low battery. To charge the monitor, insert the other plug into the right side port displaying the charging symbol. Next to each charger jack is an LED that glows red when the unit is being charged and green when it is fully charged. The Seeker 400 camera scope is supplied already connected to the one meter long obedient probe which has a slim 12 millimeter diameter tip. Available options include one, two, and three meter long probe extensions of the same diameter. By piggybacking the optional probes, the reach of the Seeker camera can be extended up to five meters or 16 feet. The Seeker 400-09 system is supplied with an ultra-slim 9 mm diameter probe. Whichever Seeker 400 system you're using, the other probes are available options and are interchangeable with the base unit. Note that the camera head and probe cable are waterproof, as are the extensions, which, if firmly connected, will make the entire probe waterproof. To remove the supplied probe from the handle, turn the collar that connects them in the directions shown on its surface, or clockwise and pull the probe straight out from the handle. To reattach the probe or attach the extensions, reverse the process, making sure that the alignment key at the end of each probe lines up with the flat on its coupling. Tighten the connections by turning the collar counterclockwise. The other main component of the Seeker 400 system is its three and a half inch diagonal color LCD monitor. Because the monitor can communicate wirelessly with the base unit, it can show what the probe sees even when the two units are located as far apart as 10 meters or 32 feet. When the monitor is attached to the pistol grip handle, the two units communicate via hardwired connections rather than wirelessly. This improves the quality of the still images and video captured by the system. The LCD monitor houses the controls and connections you will use to view, record, and upload your images, as well as charge the unit. To start with, the button on the top right of the unit performs two functions. When it is pushed for one second, it will turn the unit on. When it is pushed and held for three plus seconds, it will turn the unit off. When the unit is on and it is pressed only briefly, it toggles the unit's operating mode between live viewing and recording and that of playback of pictures and videos. On the right side of the LCD display are the jacks needed to plug in the video cable, the USB cable, the charging cable, and the micro SD memory card. The main controls are below the screen on the front of the display and consist of five buttons. A central black menu button straddled by two yellow buttons, which are again straddled by two more black buttons. Each of the buttons has two functions, and their operation depends on whether you're in live viewing and recording mode or in playback mode. In the live viewing recording mode, the controls have the following functions. Pressing the far left black button, the one with the camera icon and a left arrow, takes your still picture in JPEG format. 
pressing the right black button, the one with the movie projector icon and a right arrow, begins and ends the video recording. Pressing the left yellow button inverts the image on the screen as its icon indicates. Pressing the right yellow button enlarges the live image on the display by up to three times as its magnifying glass icon indicates. Each time you press the button, the image gets larger by a factor of 0.2. The readout on the bottom of the display indicates the current zoom level. By pressing the center menu button will bring you to a series of menus used to set up the system. These include the advanced settings menu, the auto capture menu, and the time date menu. You can scroll right and left to these three menus by using the right and left black arrow buttons within each top level menu or sub menus. And you can scroll up and down within these menus using the two yellow buttons. To make a selection within the sub menus, press the menu button. To escape the sub menus, press either the right or left black buttons. To escape the menu structure, select the exit listing at the bottom of each menu and press the menu button. Please refer to the video using the menus for further in-depth information. Once you are in playback mode, after briefly pressing the on-off button on the top of the monitor, the controls have the following functions. Pressing the left or right outer black button scrolls you through your set of stored pictures and video one step in either left or right in their order of capture. Pressing the left yellow button when a projector icon is on screen controls the playing of that particular video. Pressing the right yellow button controls the file menu of the pictures and videos. The first press displays the thumbnails of the media captured so far. Pressing it again reveals the folder structure storing your pictures and video. Each folder handles only so much data, so there will be multiple folders depending on how many images you have stored. Pressing the menu button after selecting a folder will open that folder. Pressing the menu button again after selecting an image will open that picture or video for viewing. Finally, by pressing the center menu button while in normal playback mode, you will open the playback menu where you can format and delete images. Finally, to shut down the monitor, hold the on-off button down for three or more seconds. To shut down the handle and the probe, rotate the thumb wheel control until it clicks off. We hope that you'll have years of great service from your Seeker 400 video camera scope.